for Russia, for our Asia Pacific and emerging markets, is one of the key countries for innovation. We published recently in Nature about how Russia is really advancing on the biomedical innovation funding as well as the ecosystem that's actually starting to evolve. We are seeing areas of strength, for example, the area where we're working with Petro Institute in oncology. We are working with Russian venture company in the biobank area. So we're really focusing on the key areas of strength within Russia. Computational biology, predictive sciences, oncology, cardiovascular disease, the areas which are high-end met need, where Russia has a lot of historical strength when it comes to universities, when it comes to the biotechs which are working in this space. And what we really want to bring in is our expertise to partner with these players. Uh, we see Russia really to be part of our core strategy for R&D and innovation and biomedical innovation in 2015. We continue to see more and more opportunities to partner with academia, with local biotechs, uh, with CROs in this space. And what we really see is a lot of innovation will start to come out of Russia over the coming years, especially in the area of oncology and cardiovascular and diabetes. I actually very much enjoyed uh, the forum of Adam Smith conference. The panel discussion in the morning was very, very uh, involved and very engaging with the audience. I think this platform that Adam Smith has created to bring uh, academic institutions, to bring biotechs, to bring local players, to bring the global industry players, the governments, the investors, in a, in a forum to really have a discussion around how we can create more innovation in Russia, how we can create more opportunities for people to partner with each other and bring more ideas for Russian uh, local market. I think it's a really great opportunity and I really want to thank Adam Smith for the wonderful uh, conference.